you can it goes to the zero in some fashions like this. And this is what experimental curve. A rudimentary spectrometer can obtain this kind of curve. The basic kind of the spectrometer can be used for this purpose. In the spectroscopy, you can see different kinds of the spectrometer in the first semester. So the problem is that what is that low which governs this kind of the fashion in the intensity or in the spectral uh, radiation? And uh, we should not give this blame to the classical physicists that they were not tried at that time. In some books, or uh, sometimes it is said that classical physics fails at that time. At the time of 1900, there is nothing like classical and nothing like quantum. All the uh, scientists were trying to explain as much as they can do at that time. So, uh, the one of the most uh, fundamental and one of the most uh, explained uh, law from the classical physicist is uh, Relevance law. So, Relevance obtained some <coughs> mathematical uh, crux or idea about this and they use some suppose this intensity or lambda has some average energy and n lambda d lambda. So the number density, so they assume that there is what standing wave pattern in the cavity or in the uh, that is black body and the average energy of single radiation present or single wave present in the uh, that black body. So the average of energy for a single standing wave with the number density, number of the standing waves formed in the black body, whatever the kind of the black body is, we take the simplest example is the uh, spherical symmetric black body, right? And then they have that, uh, so what they use here, they use in the calculation of number density or the standing wave density, they used simple electromagnetic theory or the wave theory, they used the uh, standing wave pattern because in the uh, KVT, the both sides must be have knots and in between two any nodes, the, the wave is more confined and it will be a standing wave. So, they use this classical concept of wave theory and they use thermodynamics. Thermodynamics, equipartition term plays up that for every degree of freedom, the energy of the particle is what half of the kT. And it depends on the number of freedoms, how many different number of freedoms that particle have in that motion. So, this is what the formula developed purely on that concepts of the classical physics. Classical physics means that those formulas that were absolutely agreed upon and absolutely tested upon. Yes, these all are okay. Mm -hmm. And thermodynamics and uh, wave theory was well established at that time. But the problem is they were not able to get that particular required formula which can explain this simple curve. Because all were trying to explain or all were trying to give that simple uh, theoretical formula. Because this is what experimental evidence, you cannot deny it. You are getting from your experimental device. But there was no theory. There was no theory to explain this curve and they lead to some a pi k t upon lambda power 4. Uh, pardon me if I uh, have some wrong uh, or some wrong because I would like to focus upon the uh, uh, main concept about this. So, what I mean, looking at which concept may be one by two by eight. Yes, yes. So, uh, you can see that this type of the particular. Uh, uh, formula developed by the uh, Relay team was only able to explain sim single part or a small part of that experimental curve and that is only for the longer wavelengths. For the shorter wavelengths, this formula completely fails and disagree deviates 
with the experimental results. You can see from here, this dotted line is what? This dotted line is for this relations formula. So, this is the problem. If the existing theories try to give some explanation, that is not acceptable. You can find only those theories. At the time of this stuck, at the time of this problem, at the time of this challenge, Planck came up with a new idea. That new idea, what do you mean by the new idea? In this particular time, there is nothing new in the explanation of the quanta or the photon. But at that time, when there is no single word about the quanta or photon, there is no single word about the quantization of the particle, quantization of energy, at that time he came up with a new idea. So I would like to make this point that whenever we start with the problems, we should we should have the confidence in our evolution of science or evolution of physics. Open and open mind. Open yes, mind. open mind. We should not confine our ideas to have only that particular uh, theory or that particular box. We should think about open the uh, out of the box theory. And Plan came with that very very exciting, very revolutionary, very igniting idea. And you can't believe. That, so, what, what I would like to make that first, whenever you start with the problems, you should have to have those particular ideas or those particular solutions which is not came up, which is not acceptable. You should must think about this. The second is, what, how can this, uh, how can plan reach up to that idea? This is very, another theory that first he analyzed the problem. Those existing theories were completely failed. But how he came to that particular idea? Yes, that this mathematical formula shoots that uh, experimental evidences or experimental theory. So, see, what is the problem? Planck analyzed this relations law very clearly. And Planck found that there is what a serious mistake between the in the average energy chosen by the Relations. The average energy is what? Half of KT. And half of KT must be wrong. You cannot associate the same energy or the same average energy with each and every standing wave. Whatever that frequency is or wavelength is. Because frequency is what? Wavelength is what? Changing. Each and every uh, wave inside this cavity have different different wavelengths. Even though uh, relatives associated the half average, uh, uh, the same average energy to all. So, Planck came, this, uh, came up with this idea that this average energy must be the function of, must be the function of wavelength only. And he also think about this that not only the function of wavelength, this energy must be vary with wavelength in a fashion that at a particular High, uh, high radiation or uh, this high wavelength side, this average energy must uh, go towards half of KT. Are you uh, able to understand this? Because if we are taking half of KT average uh, energy, then it is uh, true for the higher wavelength reason. So whatever the energy is going to uh, uh, going to taken by the plant, he think that this energy must be the function of wavelength and it must be converted in this limiting case of the lambda tends to infinity this must change to the half of kt and since here is what this curve is starting from zero so it means that your average energy must go to zero as the lower wavelength side and the lower wavelength side is whatever the average energy suppose that we are taking this as the plan So this average energy must be the function of wavelengths and at, uh, at the lower wavelength region this energy must go to zero. At the higher wavelength region this energy must go to half of kT. So that was the idea and then he, he thinks that this, this is what the must be the function of uh, uh, wavelengths or frequency and he came up with that idea. At that time there were, there were no theories to appreciate that. 
This is what the second problem. But plan successfully explained this whole part of experimental graph. And that, that was what a great success. Great success at that time. No theory, no scientist, no one can be able to explain those experimental simple curve. But Planck came up with this idea and explained this. Even after the explanation, most of the scientists, yes, did not accept it. Old is gold, new is <laughs> So, whenever you are going to have some new kind of the solutions, and if you are not getting much appreciations as you accept, there is no problem in that. One day, because Hindi में बोलते हैं कि हर जो व्यक्ति है उसको हीरे की पर नहीं होती। जो ही जो है कोई हीरे की पर कर सकता है हमारे लिए कांच का टुकड़ा। अपना टाइम आएगा। तो जिस बारे में कहा अपना टाइम आएगा, जैसे जो ही हीरे की पर कर सकता है हमारे लिए हीरा कांच लगभग एक समान है। And that जो ही for the this Einstein's life was none other than Einstein. Einstein used the same approach of the quantization of energy and successfully explained the photoelectric effect. A chota sa distinction, I think yeah. the students should know about it. Well, Planck had proposed that the exchange of energy takes place in this particular quanta of H, which means energy is present in the continuous form, but when you are exchanging it, only at that particular time, it is quantized. 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 Uh. So, amount of energy that you can remove or you can give, that is the amount which is quantized. Mm -hmm. Einstein extended this and he said, no, energy exists in the quantum form. Package, yes. So, the energy is not present in the continuous form when you are talking about such small energy systems. But in that time, energy is in packets and you have to take it back to the and that is how he applied that to photoelectric effect and got that photoelectric effect uh, yeah, that was yeah. So the second uh, take away from this evolution or this origin of quantum mechanics is whatever the situation are, don't get demoralized from that. If you are coming up with the new solutions, if you are not get highly appreciated, wait, wait for your time. मैंने बोला अपना दिन भी आएगा और फिर उसके बाद उन्हीं प्लांट के इसी थ्योरी के ऊपर we are able to see that the whole uh, physics is get revolutionized the whole theory is what have to makes in uh, or later in some other fashion so that is the uh, what the most fundamental part or most uh, uh, learning part from the evolution of uh, science or this evolution of quantum mechanics. So I usually say my students that please, if you are facing some problems in your daily life, please go through the evolution of science, go through the novels of science, go through the novels of uh, physicists. You will find that there are variety of. Uh, so you will uh, get a variety of examples by which you can take the inspiration of the life. So in our daily life, if we are making some uh, separation from our physics and from our life, then we will uh, totally in the confusion. Then we are really going to uh, uh, make our life more uh, difficult or uh, giving uh, or raising about the more trouble. So we should have the faith in the science. We should learn from the science and. Uh, for the science students or for the physics students, there is no need to go other stories or other kind of the theories. There are variety of experiences, there are variety of incidences, there are number of examples flooded in our history to learn the new uh, basics about the life. So please make this life and science uh, more nearer, more closer, more closer to each other, uh, to uh, towards each other, and this will make our life for uh, our uh, this very uh, going on more simple and more easy. So, so. Uh, <laughs>
Usually, when uh, whenever I uh, ask my students to the class that what do you know about their book, since they are new, they they don't know about their book and they don't want to know. Oh, that's bad. That that's what that we are flooded with the numbers and the classes and we have not any ample time to go outside. But uh, from the history of science, you are amazed to know that the big man. Whatever you are taking, all are either musician, either have some uh, uh, the musical instruments. ये इनका खुद का scientific जो community था, उनका party में ये लोग खुद बजाते थे, गाते थे और जो आप ये book लिखा है Feynman का, Feynman खुद जो है तबला बजाता था और जो Feynman के lecture और Feynman lectures थ्री वॉल्यूम में जो उसके ऊपर कवर पेज के ऊपर जो फोटो है वो फैमिली से तबला बजाते हुए की फोटो है तो लाइफ में केवल ये नहीं कि वी आर डूइंग फिजिक्स और वी डोंट हैव टाइम फॉर द अदर थिंग्स वी आर डूइंग साइंस और वी आर डूइंग फिजिक्स टू मेक आवर लाइफ सिंपलर टू मेक आवर लाइफ बेटर इफ यू आर लाइफ इज बीइंग प्रॉब्लम इफ यू आर लाइफ इज गोइंग टू बी स्टू टू बाय टेकिंग दिस फिजिक्स और साइंस देन आई आई वुड लाइक टू मेक हियर अ पोस्ट दैट से और Please think twice before taking this science, because science is uh, uh, really making things more simpler and simpler in our life. So my open invitation and my open uh, this is what I want to make from this uh, podium or this platform that go outside and try to learn the new things from your surroundings. Hmm. Whenever you are not taking the part or whenever you are not taking the interest in the surrounding, you will never, never, never be a And if you are never associated with your surrounding, you will be never happy. And if you are not happy, you can't be. You can't study. So for your better studies, just go outside, uh, off your book, and think about the outside uh, uh, society. Think about the outside monuments. Think about your outside life. Then you will become a more good physicist from my point of view. So <laughs> this is what. I can share my experience on this National Science Day, and uh, this is really a great opportunity. And I would like to uh, congratulate our head of the department to uh, make this day more fruitful, and uh, especially Dr. Bharat for taking this uh, opportunity up to the students. And uh, because uh, we can have some uh, seminars or we can have some conferences, we can invite some other scientists from abroad and. Uh, we can make more and more things here on the National Science Day, but the true success of the National Science Day is to attract the young minds towards science and to nurture your basic scientific thinking. And this is what the prime motive and prime goal of the celebrating this National Science Day. So I think that uh, I am able to reach up to you, and uh, this is what the great opportunity. Also, I would like to thank Bharat and Madam for providing this uh, platform. Because I was nowhere in this uh, total plan. This is totally full of uh, uh, lectures and presentations. But uh, I got a little bit time, 10 or 20 minutes, to talk with the students, and this is always, always a great pleasure and uh, a very happy moment to interact directly with the students. So for providing this uh, interaction and for, for providing this moment, I am really thankful for the attorney uh, ma'am and uh, for the time, and uh, especially. All the uh, students are. Thank you, sir. Because I am here because since you are here, so thank mm. you very much.